It is For Your Health Tuesday, and we've got something that will definitely get you into shape. It's called CrossFit Salvation, also known as the most butt-kicking workout around. And so, of course, we're using Pooja as our guinea pig this morning. She's live at the Cape Coral studio getting quite the workout. Are you already sore? I am all ready, and I'm quite the guinea pig, I know. But check this out. I mean, these guys have been going strong. Well, they're about to start up again. They've been going strong for about two and a half hours here this morning. I am just amazed. I haven't even said a word, and that's rare for me because I'm just staring in amazement. Lauren, tell me what's going on now. Right now, they're doing toes to bar. Um, the modification for toes to bar, as you see Andy is doing here, it's called a V-up. When somebody cannot perform toast to bar, we have them do a V-up. If somebody can't All about do, those modifications. Yes, and what about those do a V-up? We have somebody do sit-ups. Okay. And so then the see, fourth the modification is sitting here, right? The, yeah, Just the observing, the observing, the right here. Fourth the modification, the one that I am all about. I don't allow anyone to sit and watch. When they're here, they work. However however they can do it, they work. So. Right, now tell me a little bit about the whole environment here. I mean, because it does seem like people are close. I mean, obviously it takes a little bit bit of motivation not to be the one sitting on the ground observing. It does. it does. What we have here is a community and that's what's so great about CrossFit is you get to know people that suffer through the same things you suffer through. You get to I like that you say suffer. You get to complain <laughs> um, about different muscle groups hurting the next day like wow my quads are killing me <laughs> and my hands are torn and it's really cool. The people here all have a similar goal set. They all want to be fit. So it's, it's really neat to have the community of people that we have and everyone gets along. We don't allow any mean people. Um, so we're very welcoming. We like when people come in. We're very friendly. We introduce people. We have a variety of ages and um, fitness levels. So you're really never the odd man out. It's always somebody doing what you're doing. Well, thank you so much, Lauren. And Lisa, it sounds sort of like Fox 4 Rising, right? You sending me out here is motivation. That's how I got to look at it. Absolutely. It's, it's all out of love, Pooja. I don't believe you. I'm saying those things, but I don't really believe you. I think you want to make fun of me trying to do all of this stuff. Maybe. You know, maybe. <laughs> all right, thanks. Whatever works. Right. Okay, well, on this For Your Health Tuesday, we are whipping you into shape. Literally, we are taking you to the toughest, most butt-kicking workout around CrossFit Salvation. And Pooja, I think I'm going to add the adjective scariest as well. Yes, yes, but in a good way. And yeah. right now, I have so much power, it's not even funny. Watch this. Guys, three, two, one. They're going to keep doing these exercises for five minutes just because I told them to. That's how it works around here. And Tim, tell me a little bit about all of this. CrossFit Salvation, how often do these people come to class? I mean, this isn't something you could just show up and do once every few months, right? No, uh, with anything, the more, the more often you do it, the better you get. Um, most of these people here come at least four times a week. That's when impressive. People, that takes a lot of dedication. Yeah, when most people start out, they come three times, and then shortly we, we usually see them about five times a week. Very, very cool. And of course, I'm starting my CrossFit career. So what are you going to teach me how to do? All right. Uh, we're going to teach you what they were just doing, which is a kettlebell swing. I bet. So, I guess I should take yeah, my heels off for this, heels perhaps. Hurt you at CrossFit. Okay. All right. Um, the first thing you need to do is kind of take like a little squat stance like we showed you earlier. All right. You're going to grab the kettlebell. All right. You're going to keep your back straight, your head up. You're going to bring it back and then try to jump. All right. Jump and bring it up. Good. And I'll go a little bit faster. Good. And, and then one more. That's 15 pounds. Oh my gosh, it feels like at least 100 pounds. Okay. So thank you so much, and guys, obviously, this, like I said, feels like about 100 pounds. So you got any suggestions? Anything easier, maybe? No, no, I mean, you can help me out a little bit. <laughs> and Lisa, guys, as you know, this is much more my style. I think this is the kind of workout that I really like. That's awesome. That's probably actually less than what she normally does. That's how we warm up in the weather and traffic <laughs> officers. We get over here. We need to do some warm ups. Oh, oh my good gosh. golly. Oh, that's that was pretty, funny. That's yeah. awesome. She'll feel it tomorrow. You know yeah. what they say, though? Pain is weakness leaving the body. No pain, no gain. That's right. That's right. The weakness <laughs> hasn't left my body. Now you know the mantra in the weather and traffic office. Yes. Yeah. Speaking of weather.